Hello everybody, this is Roving Shadow, and I am back with more Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Um, last time we finished up pretty much everything in the Adventures Guild, so this time, let's, um... Eh. One second, did the volume change on me? Seems a little louder. Maybe it's just me, and the skill keeps changing on me. I don't know why. Um, so last time we tried to enter the monastery, we were eaten alive horribly. It was terrible, gruesome. So to actually get in there, it said something about a symbol indentation on the door. So let's use the dark one. Actually, first let's use it on... The hectopus seems somehow calmer as you present the dark one sign to it. You get the feeling that there's something it wants you to do with the sign. Uh, yeah, so we just use this on the door. And... Bad place. <laughs> very bad place. Go away. You'll be very sorry. Yes, 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 yes. You've already warned us in another life. Um... You push the dark one sign into the indentation on the door. It fits perfectly. Perfectly. Oh, this is, you know, this is actually a nice little place. Kind of creepy music, but interesting. This is a no longer used monastery. The furnishings are in poor condition, and the carpet and drapes are faded and threadbare. The symbols of the Dark One make this an uncomfortable place to be. Yes. And there's this now little... that alcove looks as though it was put there to hold something very important. Yes. Um, if you are playing as a thief, that will have a um, a fake blackbird in it. Um, the blackbird, as I think I mentioned during the first game, um, it's in every single game, I believe, and it's important for the thief. Um, it's actually only important for the thief, so it's not even in this for us, um, so yeah. This is a fairly attractive, in a Baroque way, display cabinet with a glass door. Ah, what is that? This amazingly lifelike sculpture looks like a cross between a baby troll and a hermit or dervish. It fits the description of a domovoi, except that it's totally dried out and unmoving. Oh, lovely. And what is a domovoi? A long wooden table attests to a time when this room was used to double as a communal dining room for the monks. Okay, what is The bar relief depicts a scarab beetle, sacred to the Shaperians as the keeper of the sun mostly due to certain unsavory habits having to do with dung balls. <laughs> um, can we you don't this? think you should break someone else's property. It just isn't the honorable thing to do. Fine. Of course, if you had a way to destroy the entire evil abode, you'd do it in a second. <laughs> nice consistency of belief, eh? Absolutely. Um. <laughs> There's an old threadbare rug on the floor. Like the curtains, it looks more like a fire hazard than an amenity at this point. Huh. Fire hazard. It's a six-tentacled, octopus-like creature. I guess you'd call it a hexapod. Unless you like cats, then you might call it a hexapus. <laughs> this is an antique brass log holder. There doesn't seem to be anything special about this one. There are some small scratches one. on the stone underneath this brass log holder. Hmm. Interesting. The fireplace looks as though it hasn't been used in years. There are no logs on the log holders, nor is there any sign of ashes or other debris. Interesting. What's this? The chandeliers once provided light in this dark, somber room. Now they are crusted over with... Something you'd rather not investigate closely. <laughs> they are now quite useless. <laughs> um. 
Okay, that's enough for... Wait, did I look at the door? That's the front door of the monastery. If the Dark One sign is still safely in place outside, you might even be able to go through it alive. Oh, lovely. Might. Um, there's more to do here, obviously, but I'm going to save that, I think, until we're supposed to Retrieve the to Dark do it. One sign from the monastery door, then quickly step away before the Hectopus can react. Okay. I, there's... A little bit more that we could have done in there right now, but I'd really rather wait until it's um at least a little closer to be being story-wise relevant. Um, so for now, let's just come over here, and this is an interesting, an interesting house. It looks like a gigantic stone nose. Who knows what it really means? <laughs> The windows stare back at you like eyes in the living wall. Well, they don't really. It's just a simile, you know. Yes. The door lintel looks almost like a moustache. Almost. Okay, let's get this straight. If the windows are eyes, okay. and there's a nose and yep. a moustache above the door, then the and door must be a mouth. Don't. A set yes. of brightly colored pull ropes hangs down in front of the door. Or maybe they're just stray mustache hairs. <laughs> um, yeah, so, lovely, um, face house thing. The sign reads, Dr. Cranium. You wonder what sort of medicine he practices. I, I, I have no idea. We will, we'll have to find out. You can't make out what's behind the window from here. You don't notice. This doorway leads to a private residence. The ancient oak has donned its fall cloak, anticipating the winter chill soon to come. And who, okay, who is this walking? The around? old man walks with a slumped back and a sad, dejected look in his eyes. He seems to be searching for something that he hasn't been able to find. Oh. This low wall appears to be more decorative than functional. Let's, let's say hello to the old man. You greet the old man. Good day. Have you seen my Anna? Um, no. No, I have not. I have not seen your Anna. Um, who are you? I, I, I am Nikolai. Hello, Nikolai. Have you seen my Anna? No, I already said that. No, I haven't seen your Anna. Anna? Have you seen my Anna? Um... No, I have not seen your Anna. Can you tell us anything about the town, maybe? I am looking for Anna. Have you seen Anna? I understand you're looking for Anna. No, I have not seen her. Okay, well, let's say goodbye to the tell old man. Tell the old man goodbye. If you see Anna, tell her I am looking for her. Okay, I will do that. Uh, I'll definitely do that. Um, let's... Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I didn't mess that up. That would be bad. Um, yep. Oh, okay. This is an interesting little room. Um, a few things to notice. Every now and then, this statue... Just pay attention to it. It does... something interesting. It's a truly impressive, original, multimedia work created out of whitewash and sawdust. <laughs> the bust's eyes seem to follow you as you walk through the hallway. It reminds you of a porthole minus the glass cover. So it's definitely not a glass of port. <laughs> okay. This strange device is labeled Transcendental Receiving Animal Processor. Hmm. I wonder if that stands for something. Be careful, it might be a trap. It just might be a trap. Come on. Waiting for this to do something. Oh, it's chewing and it is... 
the bust's oh. eyes seem oh, wow. to follow <laughs> you as you walk through the hallway. I stopped that perfectly. I was hoping that it would look at it, but I guess not. But yes, that thing will chew bubblegum and yeah. The sign says, this is the key maze. And There's a that's... sign on the door. It says, warning, do not open without appropriate precautions. Really? Why not? Let's open it. Well, first let's listen. You hear something bouncing around behind the door. Hmm. A lot of somethings. A lot of somethings. Let's knock. How interesting. It sounded as though someone knocked on the other side of the door as well. Several times. Really? That is... odd. Well, I am very curious. Let's open it. Uh, what, what, what are those? Oh no, you've been Antwerped. Oh no, Antwerp. Fortunately, these are just baby Antwerps, so the attack wasn't fatal. Antwerps, we remember those, don't we? Ah, uh, yes. Antwerps, and wait. Uh. You are in a totally weird oh. place. This hallway gives you a strange feeling of Vuja Day. The sense that you've never been anywhere like here before, but maybe will someday. <laughs> Vuja Day. I like that. And there goes the statue again. Let's, let's see. Welcome to the Transcendental Receiving Animal Processor. You can analyze the creature you wish to capture, then apply the proper bait. If the animal is in the immediate vicinity, the trap will catch it for you. If the animal is not in the area, you'll just have to catch it yourself, but at least you'll know what to feed it. So, you want to identify an animal, right? No. Uh-huh. Too dangerous for you, eh? In your case, it probably is. Oh, could I... You are in... It reminds... Uh, I want to look at the ant warp. Um, I'll be going through pretty much every different possible choice until I reach the correct one. Because um, a lot of these are very funny. Yes. Is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. Right. What's a bread box? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yes. Is it bigger than a bread box? No. Is it smaller than an ant? Yes. It has to be a baby ant then. Try feeding it any pasta. Oh. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. Yes. No. No. Is it black and white and red all over? Yes it is. Sounds like a penguin with a sunburn. Use suntan lotion for bait. All right. Um, no. 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 Is it yellow and does it weigh 500 pounds, have wings, and an attitude? Actually, yes, it does. Then it's a 500 pound canary. Say, here, kitty kitty. <laughs> oh, no. I'm one of these times. Yes. No, 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 no. Is it gray and wrinkled and lives in a tree? Yes. Your elephant is psychologically challenged. <laughs> Pretend you're a peanut. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. Is it gray, wrinkled, wears a hat and says only you can prevent forest fires? Yes. That's Smokey the Elephant. Leave a fire burning and he'll come. <laughs> yes, he will. We remember him from the last game. Only you can prevent Savannah fires. You are One of these times. Yes. No, 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 no. Does it bounce? No. Does it dribble? Yes. Ah, that would be Kareem Abdul Elephant. Put a peanut in a basket for him. Yes. No, 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 no. Phew. At least it's not an elephant with an overbite. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. You want 
An elephant on a pogo stick, no doubt. Absolutely. Try looking in the swamp. Okay. Almost there. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Is it blue, avocado shaped, and sings Waltzing Matilda? Yes. Oh, can't be an Antwerp then. They can't sing a note. Hey, almost there. No. Yes. No. No. Must be an Antwerp you want. I only threw in Waltzing Matilda to make it tougher. Feed it avocado. Oh. The short. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna wait one second. You are in it. You are in it. Uh, oh well, I guess we can't look at it. So, what do we have that might have avocado? These avocado and garlic sandwiches! Let's toss. You bait the trap with avocado from your sandwich. Avocado was never high on your list of favorite foods anyway. The trap starts working. All right. Now we just wait and... Oh, look at that. Yes. You've caught an Antwerp. It's simply amazing. It's simply amazing. Now, let's go to the key maze. Let's... let's you don't hear anything behind this door. Don't hear anything. There is no response to your knock. Ah, uh, well, then let's just go in. This is the Antwerp maze. Antwerps are naturally bouncy, so all you have to do is continually rotate the maze until the baby Antwerp bounces over to the key, then out through the exit. Alright, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, uh, yes, how simple that is. Unfortunately, I should have lowered the speed a little bit to make this a little bit more doable. Um, okay. Let's see, we've got to get all the way over there. Um, okay, we're making progress. Oh! Ah! Uh, yeah, this is not gonna be fun. No! No! Ah! <laughs> uh, no! Okay. Okay, we're making some progress. So... I've got to now. Okay. Ah. No. <laughs> We're going backwards. Okay. And. Oh. The Antwerp has found a hole in the space time continuum <laughs> no. and slipped back to the beginning of the maze. Ah. Uh. Okay. One second. Let's just slow that down a little bit. Just so that it's not going quite this so fast. This is the fast. Antwerp. Okay, much better. Now it's much, much more doable. Okay, and there. Oh. Almost there. Oh, okay. And turn, turn. Okay, we got the key. Oh, uh, okay. No, I messed that up. And there, there, there. And voila. congratulations. You've used the baby Antwerp to get Dr. Cranium's laboratory key from the maze. You add the key to your key ring. Very nice. And also... That looks like a likely place for a spare key. Oh, does it? Oh. That looks like... But you don't find anything. Oh, okay. Sorry, it just doesn't go with the colors in your room. Are you sure? That did... Oops. Um, let's look at this The door. sign on the door says, Dr. Cranium's Private Laboratory. Entrance by prior appointment or demonstration of superior intelligence only. Only. Uh, let's 
go over here and let's knock. You faintly hear a voice saying, Don't knock! Come on in! From beyond the door. Oh, okay. Let's listen. You hear mysterious bubbling and sizzling noises. Every once in a while you think you hear someone muttering to himself. <laughs> Unlock. And what is this? Yes, we have a little puzzle to solve. It's not that bad. If you sort of know the basic format of it. I, I think I actually have it over one too much. Oops. That should be there, and then I believe you there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Over, 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 everything over. And now watch me be wrong, and it was right, and oh well. There, there. Um. That we will put there. That will go there. Um, okay, that there. This here. Now it's the key. So that key will go there. This key comes over to here. This key will go. No. Well, maybe. No. Um, let's see. So, I think I have these a little off. I think this one's wrong. Maybe not. Um, uh, um, <laughs> Let's see, this, okay, if I put that there, and then this one will go here, this down to here, that to there, this to her, okay, that, that goes there, so those four are definitely there. Then I will need something going to the bottom right. No, not that one. Not that. Maybe that. Okay, this little circly thing will not work there, but possibly there. Oops, no. Um, let's put this here. Um, if I put, no, not there. Ah, that one, I guess that goes there. And now the purple one right there. So that looks okay. Um. Huh. There we go. Yep, I had those two backwards. And... That's great. You've managed to find Dr. Cranium's keyhole and open the door. You pass through into Dr. Cranium's private laboratory. All right. I love this guy. Quickly, Igor, the fluid. I must have the fluid. <laughs> the fluid. Oh, excuse me. I thought it was Igor coming in to assist me. He helps out in the lab sometimes. Ah, does he? Now then, what can I do for you? I love the music here. Um, and I love Dr. Cranium. He is awesome. Um, I don't know. Maybe he makes me think of myself a little bit, but he, he's the eccentric scientist. You have to have one. If nothing else, his lab, just to have this in a game, having it, it's, it's perfect. Um, so we will actually go and talk to him in the next episode. It actually may take two videos to fully talk to him. 
there is a lot, 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 lot to talk about. And there's a lot to look at. So I will cut this video here and next time we will we will do a lot of listening because he can talk and he is quite funny at times. So I will see you all next time.